Taliban fighters firing off celebratory rounds after nearly 20 years, the war in Afghanistan is officially over. It's a mission that brought Osama bin Laden to a just end, along with many of his al-Qaeda co-conspirators. And it was not, it was not a cheap mission. The cost was 2,461 U.S. service members and civilians killed, and more than 20,000 who were injured. The U.S. military conducting what it calls its largest non-combatant evacuation in history over 18 days. More than 123,000 people have been safely flown out of Afghanistan. That includes about 6,000 American citizens. Despite the United States' historic efforts, our nation's top general in the Middle East says that they weren't able to get everybody out that wanted to get out. I think if we'd stayed another 10 days, Lily, we wouldn't have gotten everybody out that we wanted to get out. And there still would have been people who would have been disappointed with that. It's a, it's, it's a tough situation. The mission to get people out is still underway. The United Nations Security Council has now approved the resolution for creating safe passage for people still seeking to leave Afghanistan from the Kabul airport, warning the Taliban that they should know that the world is watching them closely. Everybody must be allowed to safely leave Afghanistan for whatever reason, whenever they want, by air or by land. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.